Hi guys, me Diecast Break right here and this is another video and today I'll be re reviewing the Mini Chem Porsche 911 Turbo. So let's just get straight to this video. Alright, so before I get straight to the review, I'll be re reviewing the front of the car first before moving to the interior and last but not least the exterior, the back part of the car. And I'll give you guys my overall thought for this model. So let's dive straight right to into the review right now. So let's starting from the front. First up, we have the front part of the car, which is the headlight. I'm going to talk about it. So the headlight is quite nice, the detail, and as you guys know, if you saw my previous review, which is the Mini Champs Porsche 911 GT3, that is a 991.2 generation. Same goes for this Turbo S. Uh, so this is this Turbo S is also the 991.2 generation. So mainly they updated the front and the back part of the car. So it, mainly they updated the the internal and external part of the car. So yeah, let's let me just focus back on the headlight. The headlight, I would say, they're quite nicely detailed. Um, um. Mainly, I have no much talk about it. Other than that, it's quite nicely detailed. You got your regular high beam and your low, uh, high beam and low beam right here, and your in around the side of the headlight, you got your daytime running light, and yeah, that's mainly it. There's no much talk about it. Right down below, you got your indicators and your daytime. Enough daytime running light, which is found on both sides, kind of one side on the driver side and one on the passenger side, and yeah, that's mainly that's what I want to talk about it for the indicators part. Right down below, we got your air intakes. Unfortunately, you can't see them, and all because it's the air intakes are fake. So yeah, mainly it's just a mesh plastic, so it, you can't poke right through it. Other than that, that's all I have to say for the front of the part. On the car next like next up let's move on to the part where normally for if you saw my last review the, about the mini champ gd3 you have noticed that they didn't put a license plate holder right here you, it will have been in the body color which is just right here but for the turbo s somehow they decided to put the license plate holder right here so that's one nice touch next up let's move on to the trunk of the car the part where you store your luggage and mainly your groceries so yeah to open up this is also very simple there's a latch right down below it if i could find it so mainly just this thing right here you push it up and just gently put it right here and yeah that's mainly how you open up the trunk of the mini chain porsche 911 turbo s so yeah and there's no much to talk about it because it's just mainly black plastic all around um, but unlike Otoa, which Otoa they were placed a Porsche logo right above here. For Mini Champ, they didn't put it, which is a downside to it. And next up, let's moving on. We have you got your windscreen wiper fluid right here, and that's all you got for the front of the car. And mainly, you can put maybe one or two luggage or your groceries right inside here. Um, I would say for this part where you put your groceries, they are not uh this type. They don't have this texture where it's like like a bit like sandpaper this is just mean just smooth black plastic other than that that's all i have to say for the front part of the car to close let's move on to the interior of the car right now so to close it just mean just close it down gently and that's it so now let's move on to the interior of the car so before i move on to the interior of the car let me just show you guys the rims of the turbo s so yeah as you guys can see right here you've got your uh carbon ceramic brick calipers when it's painted in yellow apart from the regular steel brakes which are painted in red other than that this is quite nice detail and the center caps is is in the i mean the center lock is like the same thing for the gt3 and gt3 rs they got just one bolt so many just need to use a uh, uh what is what is that thing that you guys what's that thing um, but yeah, mainly you know what I want to say. You just need to use a, a boat gun to just or something. I know I can't no I, not too sure what the that thing that you use to change the wheels. But you guys know what it is, so just do leave a comment down right below. So yeah, other than that, that's all I have to say about it. Quite nice detail, and you got your Porsche crash emblem right there. Other than that, let's move on to the interior right now. So alright, sorry about that. 
If I move on to the interior, as you guys can see, there's one more ad ink page right here. For this, I would say it's uh, semi blocked out because you just get kind of like a texture feeling right. Right, quarter panel right here. Other than that, that's all I have to say for the Turbo S exterior. Oh, yeah, one thing it, it shares quite relevant to is the GT3. The GT3 has this uh, similar air intake to it. No. Sorry, not the GT3, the GT3 RS. The GT3 RS has this, and yeah, mainly to set the GT3 RS has this uh, air intake right here and the louvers right here, which the, for the Turbo S, they only got this air intake on both driver and passenger side. Other than that, that's all to say for the exterior. Now let's move on to the interior part of the car. So let's show, let me just before I show you guys the interior to open up the doors on the Porsche 911. You just need to use some fingernails, or if you have an auto lock key, you can just use slot the auto lock key right inside this door handle right here and just pull it gently and just maybe like leave a bit, little bit of gap. And the remaining part, just use your hand to open up, and that's it. And now let me just show you guys the interior. Interior is not that uh, bright, vibrant as compared to the Auto or GT3 RS. Uh, it's the, also the same thing for the GT3 which I reviewed. Uh, if you guys saw the video, I think it should be a few weeks back. The interior for the GT3 and the Turbo S you are seeing right here is just mainly just plain which is black interior and yeah, no much talk about it. Other than the, the only thing set apart from the Turbo Turbo S and the GT3 is the bucket seat which the GT3 have and this Turbo has the regular maybe like the either the 18 way or the 14 way comfort seat that is fitted here. Other than that, that's all I have to talk about the in, uh the seating, the seats for this car. Now let's move on to the steering wheel which is also one more downside of it. If you guys saw my review for my Mini Shen Portion Island GT3, I would have stated that this is a 991.2 generation model and i don't understand why mini champs would put a 991.1 steering wheel right inside there to all Porsche interviews they would think it's extremely weird because a 991 steering 991.1 steering wheel is very weird uh it's how it's very weirdly placed here because you think they would put a 991.2 steering wheel inside here but no they place a 991.1 steering wheel inside which is a downside to it i'm not too sure what the reason for doing it but hey we just got to deal with what mini champ plays in their model. Other than that, uh, one thing this Turbo S seem to have is the Sport Chrono Pad right at the center. If you guys can see the clock right at the center there, that is the one additional option to add in your Turbo. Or I, I'm not too sure whether it's come included, but that is a Sport Chrono Watch. So yeah, that is the Sport Chrono Watch that come either included or just standard with, or either some standard or uh, optional extra for the car. Other than that, that's all to say for the interior. Lastly, before I move on to the back part of the car, you got your Turbo S uh, door seal right down there. Not, much, not that special talk about it, and you got your door cards right here. Other than that, that's all I have to say for the interior. So now let's move on to the exterior of the car. And the clothing is just as simple as the, it's the same way as you open the car just now. Just use, uh, this time around, you do not need a key. You just need to close your door gently and that's it. Now let's move on to the back part of the car. For the back part of the car, as you guys can see, this is a Turbo S, so it look uh, slightly much better aggressive from the rear. Before I move on, before I carry guys the bottom part of the car, let me just show you guys the top part of the car, which is the air intakes for the Turbo, for the Turbo, for Turbo S, sorry. So yeah, mainly if you guys can see right here, usually for the dot one generation, the Turbo S or the regular Turbo, this would be one, uh, how do, I, how do I say this? Um, maybe this grill would be just one big piece. But for the dot 2 generation, they have decided to go with a split. Like maybe a, just a small mesh right on the drive on both sides. So in the center is the air intake for it. I would say the overall uh, detail is quite alright. There's nothing special to talk about it. Other than that, yeah. Let's, next up, let's move on to the next thing, which is the real spoiler. So yeah, this is the real spoiler for the... the Portion line M Turbo, Turbo S and regular Turbo. And also the same thing for the Cabriolet. So yeah, if you guys don't know, the Turbo S have a real uh, have a real active spoiler that raise up and down at a certain speed. So unfortunately for this model it doesn't have the mover spoiler which is one disadvantage. I I really was hoping Mini Chan would include it, but hey, I think there's always an 
limit to what you can put in all the models so yeah mainly this uh is uh, over i do think it's quite nice the details you got your third bright light right in the center here and yeah that's main that's all now let's move on to the next part of the car which is the rear tail light so yeah for the rear tail light i would say there's also the same thing quite nicely this detail as you guys can see this is the dot to uh tail light to set apart from to set itself apart from the dot one and dot two so yeah this is the dot two tail light nothing special to talk about it and then other than that you got your brake light and your indicators and reverse light implemented right in the middle right here and next up we got your Porsche logo right here and down below is the model destination number so it's 911 turbo s also known as the Porsche 911 Turbo S 991.2 generation so yeah that's all I have to say about the rear now let's move on to one more feature which is the license plate holder so yeah this may that's another thing that's nothing uh different from the GT3 which I revealed a few weeks back you got your license rear license plate holder right here and this if I'm not wrong this should be your uh rear parking sensor if I'm not wrong yeah other than that that's all I'll talk about that. Now let's move on to the final part of the car, which is the, the diffuser and exhaust area. And yeah, for the uh, exhaust area, it was, as you guys can see, this is the this turbo edge has the quad black out exhaust kit. Nothing special to talk about it other than that it's a fake exhaust because you mainly just can't poke through. So yeah, nothing special to talk about that. And then that, that's all I have to say for this video. Before I end up the video and give you guys my overall thought for this model, you got uh, more uh, air intakes right here to release the hot air from both sides. Other than that, that's all. Wait, yeah. But before I end the video, let me just show you guys one more feature, which is this. But this is what I like. That's one thing that sad part. If you guys saw my GT3 review from Mini Champs last week, Sorry, I can't mention it, but yeah. So if you saw my review, review for that, you have seen this is fully black plastic. But for the turbo S, somehow it's it's, it's the painted in silver. It's also the same thing that Otto has done. So at least the craftsmanship, I think, is quite similar to Otto. But somehow Mini Cham, they are not consistent. Because if you saw my review for the GT3, it is painted in full black. But for the turbo S, you are seeing right now, it is painted in silver, which I have no idea what they're doing but other than that let me just give you guys my overall thought for this model all right so let me just give you guys my overall thought for this model so yeah if you're a Porsche enthusiast or 911 enthusiast that like or may or, or in another form i would say if you're a fan of the 991 series means the 991.1 and .2 series which, uh, i would highly recommend you guys pick this model up because you need a special uh i would say the special range from Porsche itself would be the Turbo, the GT3, and the GTS series. The regular Carrera or the maybe like the Carrera S, 4S, yeah, nothing special because they're just a standalone 911 that uh, I would say Porsche and sell to the make it more aff affordable for the market. So, yeah, other than that, um, oh, yeah, if if I still haven't mentioned to you guys what the color of this uh, Turbo S is, I was um this color of this uh turbo s you're seeing right here is painted in my miami blue so yeah that's to clear off any uh people wondering what color it is so it is miami miami blue portion i learned turbo s cool other than that overall uh oh yeah my overall thought on this model is a great car to own if you want to collect that the exclusive very special series like the turbo gt3 and whoever saw that i just mentioned earlier on other than that uh this model i uh, if you are looking for it, I will highly recommend you guys to pick this up, either the dog because if you guys didn't know Mini Champs did a dog one and dog two generation of this, so do keep look up when you are purchasing purchasing the model. So yeah, that's my consumer advice. If you are getting a turbo for Mini Champ, do keep look up some subtle details that uh to the model. So yeah, mainly is the dog two is uh the rear part. So this this uh area where the engine bay is. Oh yeah. Other than that, um, that's all I have to say for this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at DieCastRig. And my Instagram should pop up right about here. And click on the subscribe button down right below to see more videos like this. If And lastly, if you want to see more models from my collection, don't forget to follow me on DB Collection on Instagram. And it should be popping right about here. And yeah, click on the subscribe button down right below to see more videos like this. Or click here to subscribe and click here to see my two other videos. 
And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh.